Hello, a blissful day. Welcome back to our English class. How are you today? Great. Join me, your teacher Mercy, for another fun learning activities in English. Please prepare your pencil and paper and let us begin. Module 4, Lesson 4, Reading Graphs, Tables, and Pictographs. After going through this module, you are expected to first interpret simple graphs, tables, and pictographs. Second, appreciate the importance of analyzing data in simple graphs, tables, and pictographs. Third, create graphs based on the given information. Today, we are going to apply our reading and comprehension skills to interpret information through bar graphs, tables, and pictographs. I know that as we go along with the topic, you will be able to familiarize with the use of bar graphs, tables, and pictographs. Before I proceed with the lesson proper, let us have a pre-test. Activity 1. Are you a kapamilya, kapuso, or kapatid? Lino asks his neighbors which TV network they like to watch. The table in the next page shows the data that Lino collected from his survey. Read the data comparison of the three network mentioned, then complete the bar graph afterwards. Nice one! Let us continue with activity 2. Interpret the pictograph and answer the given questions using a separate sheet of paper. Be guided with the following questions. Awesome grade 3 virtual club for everyone. Let us have another activity. Read and interpret the map correctly. Fill in the blanks with the correct directions. North, South, East, West. Write the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Let us analyze the following scenario. The grade 3 students had an activity. They needed to pick some fruits in the school garden. Teacher Lisa recorded the fruits that the students brought inside the classroom. With the given data, answer the questions that follow.
let us proceed with another activity. This time, you are going to read the story carefully. From the given picture story, answer the following questions. Thank you for sharing your answers. From all the given activities, let us find out more about the meaning of a graph, a table, and a pictograph. Graph It is a chart or drawing that shows the relationship between changing things. It is a diagram displaying the relationship between numbers. Most graphs use bar lines or parts of a circle to display data. I have here an example of bar graph. Next is table. It is the representation of data or information through rows and columns. Here is the example. Then the pictographs. It is a chart or drawing that shows the relationship between changing things. Example, tables, graphs, and pictographs are visual representations that shows relationships and patterns. These three are essential tools used to make data more presentable and easy to understand. Upon learning the different tools in interpreting data and information, let us check your understanding. Do the following. Activity 1. Answer the questions using the graph and table shown below. Travel to school survey. Send the Thomas Central Elementary School SPED Center wanted to know what mode of transportation do the students use in going to school. One morning, they came up with the data below. Now, let us answer the questions. First, use the table to complete the graph. Second, how did most children get to school that day? Third, how many more children came by tricycle than by bike? Fourth, how many more children came by walking than by car? Fifth, how many more children came by bike than by car? Good job! Let us continue with another activity. Activity 2. Read and study, then interpret this pictograph. Based on your interpretation of the pictograph above, answer these questions. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers.
awesome great tree, virtual clap for a job well done. Reminder, please access our Google Classroom in English and answer the posted evaluation and assignment. Indeed, it was great to be with you today and I am confident that you learned a lot. I am your teacher Mercy saying, be careful in everything you do, be wise in decision making, always study and think twice. See you again class in our next meeting. Bye!